Hey everyone, Sun Tenna Guy here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. In the last episode, we took on both Roran B and Avium. I probably just said her name wrong. And failed twice. Which pretty much tells me I am obviously not on their level, but you know what? I was at least happy that I was actually starting to get my butt hand to me. Yes, I'm actually serious. And after that, we stole an item from Kekwia. I have no clue, though, as to what it was. Um, after that, we went back into the uh, Pokemon Laboratory and went back into Milia's room and discovered just how much she really loved her... her <clears throat> and we got to see how much she really loved Jenner and um, both Ren and Venom. And we only got to see her for, like, a few episodes, and now she's gone. Oh, well. Anyway, in today's episode, we're going to finally be, for now, wrapping up the rest of Sheerden's side quest. And again, I am not going into that, um, re re that double battle, at least not yet. Eventually, I will make a comeback to it, though. Anyway, I've been giving some really, really th um, thoughts about uh, about uh, Fletchling here. I'm thinking about maybe getting one for the main team. However, I'm just not sure just yet. I mean, yes, when it comes to Talonflame, it gets Galewing. One of the best abilities and one of the most nerfed abilities out of most abilities because it can only work as long as as um, the, ta the Talon Flame line has its HP at max, but after that, Gay Wing becomes useless. But I'm still thinking about it. I have until maybe like the second gym to make my final decision. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this quest stuff wrapped up. Huh? What do you want from me? I see. You're here for that cargo we stole. Hey, you know what? I think you come down here and shouldn't at, shouldn't at least at <clears throat> try this again. Hey, you know what? I think you coming down here and shouldn't shouting at me what has really shown me the light. I'm definitely a changed man now. Honest. So change. So changed that I decide to lead you to everything we took. We're right this way. Yeah, like I'm going to believe his sorry rear. By the way, I should probably mention that Ocean up here does not have any music, so that's why it's so dang quiet. Hey, right this way. Keep walking. Watch your step. And... Lights, camera, action. Aww, you look kind of lost. Well, you found our lair now, but are you strong enough to get back that stolen cargo? Team Zen paid us a lot of money to keep things protected in here. So if you want to get back what we took, you'll have to come and get a gift from us. There's just one question though. Can you even get to us? The floor with the arrows are completely electrified. Have fun getting through that. Ha 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 ha! Okay, as he says he there, this floor is electrified. If you even think about touching that floor, all your Pokemon are getting KO'd, even if you have a ground type. So, what are we supposed to do, you may ask? Well, you see this book right here? It tells you everything you need to know about the uh, factory field, the benefits, the weakness, rigging is for nerds. Uh, I already know what to do, so I'll go ahead and show you. This guy, right here. Talk to him. Make sure first that you don't have any of your ground types out, otherwise this will not work. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to go for a Toxic Spikes. That's exactly what I wanted him to do. Next, I'm going to bring back, bring out Geodude. Oh, come on! I thought that would... I 
Ah, dang, I thought that would... Oh, never mind, it worked. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, Boldo is just one of the few uh, moves that can shut down the place. So, after that, the factory has been sorted out. You can now safely go on the um, arrows and you will not take a single ounce of damage. Before I even think about doing that, I'm going to heal up my Trubbish back to full health, along with Geodude. Shutting down the warehouse was very, was very clever of you. I must say, I'm impressed, but this is all far as you go. Boys, get him. Oh, no you don't. I'm not gonna let this go. This, the way you want to. Uh, isn't that the girl a gym leader? You're dang right, I'm a gym leader and I'm a good one at that. Whatever, this doesn't change anything. Get him! So he sends out the normal Mr. Mime in the Porygon. Is there not a single day moment where I have my grubbing out, I mean trubbish out, and I don't have to deal with a psychic type? Anyway, Mr. Mime's gonna set up both the top. I don't know why I'm supposed to say toxic. It's gonna set up probably, I believe, both um, screens. So yes, both reflect and both reflect and whatever the special screen screen uh, screen future me just put it on there. Can't believe I forgot. Reflect and this is gonna be in my mind for a while. Just watch. <laughs> White screen, there we go. White screen, that's the word I was looking for. There we go, down goes Mr. Mine. So how does this move work again? If the target has already taken damage in the same turn, this attack powers Doubled. Yeah, I better stick with Bite. Let's go with, you know, let's let Chai Mako have fun. That was probably a good call on my end. That Porygon needs to go. As you can see, that Porygon is is bloody defensive. Oh, frozen! That's gotta hurt. <coughs> mm, smart decision. That's gotta hurt. I believe that uh, Grabber does have Sturdy, which is basically the reason why I brought him out, why I got the Toxic Spike out first. Fear of one slower takedown, but that's not really good for it. It's way too fast, so no. Yikes. Heck, I'll say this, um, if... Ben's uh, Survivor has um Okay, Ivy Sword's another answer. Though so really you could have gone for Flaffy, but at the same time that's fine. What you do to evolving? Efforts, level one. I burned six AP. Oh, that's a lot. You know, it's actually been a while since I ever went back to the um, achievement points, or to look at my achieve my achievement points. Excuse me. Um, I think I'll say Flaffy's the bigger threat. Oh, <laughs> 
Eh, it's just as I thought. Let's see, it's not completely safe for me to send out uh, Firo yet until I get rid of that Flappy. Technically, it's not completely safe for you for my Yen to come out first. Oh, I did not know that. How can actually increase both uh, player, both Pokemon's um, attack stat? I thought it was just only for one, so that's my first time knowing about it. Well, I hope it's not completely lost. I can just uh, de-level some of my mods so that way they can be ready for the gym. Regain energy. Yikes, they're just too strong. We can't beat them. R All right, there's nothing we can do. Take take the dang cargo, but this isn't the end. Quest complete. Subtando, what are you doing? That was really dumb. You can't just walk into a dark warehouse and expect everything to be cool. You're lucky, you're lucky I was here to help you out. Otherwise, who knows what would have happened. Just be careful, alright? Trust no one. Not even yourself. Not even your cell cell. Not even your cell cell cell. <laughs> and it looks like Venom is starting to get better. And that quest has been completed. Okay, so before getting out of this warehouse, let's turn it, this thing this way, and ow, ow, ow. Yep, you see what I mean? Ooh, I got Venom Shock. There's nothing else in here, so let's get out. Probably be best if I go into the Pokemon Center real quick. And then, I think after that, I'll meet you all at the uh, Corsa Hotel's uh, gambling area, so I'll see you all in a bit. Okay, I am now back, so let me take a look at my bag. Let's look at my achievement points. Wow. I have 50 points. I can almost get all of the cards here. If I wanted to. Or I could get the first half and then maybe get some of the golden items. <sighs> mm. I will not lie, this is kind of a tough decision. I know if I wait a little longer, I could get the golden surfboard. I know I don't. I, 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 in terms of the surf, you're not getting for like anytime soon without the um, HM for it. It's not going to work. But at least you have. I, at least you can have it when you get the um, item for it. I mean the TM for it. After that, it becomes useful. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to get half of these cards here. I'm going to go for attack. Speed. Speed. 
And special attack. Wait, let me look at that again. Oh, okay, never mind what I never mind what I was seeing then. Out of all the golden items, I would say I would rather have either wings, the drip board, there's just a lot I gotta choose. I mean, I know if I could, well then again. I'm gonna get the uh, golden axe and the golden. I'm gonna get these. Quick <clears throat> I'm gonna get the golden axe and the and the golden lantern. Uh, gold lantern is basically a for flash. Uh, okay. I guess now I will see you all at Sheridan Village. Okay, and I'm back, and I'm still gonna be quite honest right here. Why have these? Like, all these here? There's just no point. Like, um... We can only go to these two areas, and yet we can see the other towns? Really? That's kind of, in the way, spoiling the game, even though it's like a whole, like, 1%, but it's like, that's still spoiling it. Well, then again, this game's been out for who knows how many years, so what am I saying? Team Zigna can't attack going with Forest, Bamilia. Okay, what do I do next, though? Well, I got a lot of chapters left. Task confront Kita. Location the Sheerden area. Okay, that helps um, lower my standards for that. Um, it turns out the um, quest rewards, I'm going to get those off screen instead. Let's see, I think I'm going to sir. And there's a battle, Balor here. Close to a favorite, but not completely. Okay, that was really cool. Okay, so for the way how Seismic Toss works, it's based off on your Pokemon's level. So, for example, of course, Machop is level 19. So, I will be only be taking 18 damage per time uh, Seismic Toss is used. However, the more levels a Machop gets, the more damage Seismic Toss can actually do. Parablast. A Pokemon that really, really is... I don't even know how to evolve a Carablast in this game, though, because the only way to do it is if you have Shelmet, or whatever the heck that its counterpart is, but you need a trade. A trade is not available in this game, so I have zero clue how to even evolve. Uh, Carablast into um, its evolution. I mean, heck, I'll still use Carablast because I do enjoy it. But Carablast is not too, like, pff, way later in the game. We're talking, like, maybe after. I just hit my mic a bit and it almost fell. <laughs> but we're talking, like, way late into the game. Okay, memory served. I have to climb up here. Okay, yep. Hmm. Maybe I should get Swablu. I'll think about it. This is it. I've done this many times before, but it's always so uncomfortable. Alright, well, let's try this out. Sensei, it's me, Athleta. 
Alita, please let me in. Just stay calm. We got this. Or we could just abandon her. That's what another thing we could do. Alita, what is it now? I told you not to come near this house. I know, but... <coughs> Excuse me? I don't remember inviting you into my house. It must be cus customary for trainers to waltz into people's houses, unannounced it, but this is crossing a line. It, it's okay, Sensei. I brought Satendo here. And why exactly did you invite him here? <sighs> I... No. We came here because we're concerned about you. You've been stuck in this place for months. You haven't lived, lived or spoken to anyone. The people in this village are starting to believe that you're abandoning them. No one has said anything outright, but we fear that people will leave soon. They'll probably be best anyway. There's no future here. Sensei, how could you? It's all a hopeless endeavor. There's no point in any of this. But I just want to know why. Why won't you talk to us? Why won't you just give us a chance? I just don't know what to do. What's the right answer here? The people at Sheridan are here because they trust you. Even at times where, it seems, where things seem grim, you must give them a chance to prove that to you. There are plenty of pure souls out there. You just have to find them. Santendo, please meet me in my garden. I wish to speak with you. Alita, if you would give us a moment. But... I'm giving you your chance. Take it. I... I understand. I don't know what's... I don't know what he wants to talk to you about, but this is our chance. I guess I'll wait here. Or we could just explore- never mind. Yep, never mind, we can't really explore his house yet. Tilia, I tried so hard to smile, but that's just impossible. What was her name again? Milia? If I confused you, perhaps you'll recognize me in this state. Familiar? Yes, I believe so. You have come all this way just to bother a man already in his pit of despair. You're either a dis despicable child or clueless. Either way, I promise Athleta that I will give her at least a chance. There's something we all want, don't we? Milia, it seems her life was left up to that very chance. I bet your friends said something like, If only I were stronger. It's all bullcrap. There's nothing that could have been done in that cave. Fate is already written. But perhaps... I have a task for you, Sartendo. Are you up to the ta to for this task? Hmm, very good. In that case, listen closely. Do you remember where we met in Emesis Cave by that bridge? Just west of that bridge is a rock with a pendant attached to it. Touch the stone. If something happens, proceed. The way to Emesis Grotto will open, and if in that place, the Soul Stone lies. Retrieve the stone, and well, we'll see. And also, you are to do this alone. Leave Al Alita out of this. So, he wants us to go into Emesis Cave to grab this thing called a Soul Stone. Okay, so there's two ways I can do this. I can either take the short way or the long way. But I'm sure... Is the Sensei setting you off somewhere? This is all so strange. What's the point of all this?
Okay, you want? We'll just take the way we where we come in from Sheridan Village. Make sure I have some repels. Okay, I have about nine repels. That's the best I can do. Well, back for this cave again. Hey, as long as I don't run into any wild Pokemon counters, then hey, you know what? I'm completely fine with that. Plus, it is probably good for you to memorize the layout of some of these bits of these areas because there could be a Zygarde Cellar too that I couldn't really get to because I didn't have that specific item. Okay. This is the Keystone Kita Mansion. Interact with the stone. Secret Passage has opened up. And sadly, that's going to be it for today's episode. Next time on Pokemon Rejuvenation, we'll be heading into an Amethyst Grotto. If you enjoyed today's episode, please share, like, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you all for the next episode. Have a nice day.